So Sweet Sophia's in and shake it to complete the lineup. All set. And uh, away they go from the 1200 meter marker and of Denmark at the back early on. Shake it is the early leader. The white cap along the inside is Sweet Sophia, followed by on the outside is Anne of Denmark in the red cap. Stand side, Denim Blue. Further back in the field is Intro, and Explosive Gift is out at the back end, about five, six lengths off the leader as they come past the 800 meter marker. Shake it has come to the left hand side, still leads the way, leads it by about a length and a half. On the outside, Anne of Denmark. Then came Sweet Sophia down towards the far side, followed further back by Intro and beyond that just a shake of the reins then denim blue and explosive gift is on the extreme outside 400 meters left to go shake it still goes Anne of Denmark tries to close in then came intro further back in the field further back is sweet Sophia 300 meters to go shake it still in front goes clear now three lengths keeps on finding further back in the field is intro trying to run on down the inside followed by Anne of Denmark then explosive gift but shake it is going strongly as shake it will go all the way from intro shake it to win by three intro second third place to sweet sophia then came explosive gift and of denmark and denim blue six one seven four is how they cross the line number six on the left hand side the white cap under jared penny keeps on going strongly gave a nice kick into the final 300 and pulls away intro, try to run on then Anne of Denmark further back. But shake it goes too strongly for them under Jared Penny. 6174, that's how they cross the line. Well, the stable certainly are uh, in uh, decent uh, nick. They had a second, and now they've had uh, that winner with a horse that stood out as far as the form is concerned, that debut effort. Behind a horse that I'm sure, and I hope we hear a lot more of Poblano from the Robbie Sage stable, that was a uh, first-timer on that particular occasion. Shake it, not disgraced at all in a field of 10. Finished a fourth, but Steve is here, and uh, he is going to take the check on behalf of Malivile. Yes, I'm coming to take that check. I'm very happy to tell about that toss. I'm working hard from that field. I'm very happy to winning today. You know what, from the moment it was uh, this field was announced, even before the scratching of the favorite, I always said, I think you guys have the race. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I wish you guys continued good form, and I think things are turning around, and they're turning around nicely. Yes. Thank you so, so much, Stevie. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Right, let's talk to a man who's become a regular, more regular in this place than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, nice one. No, uh, you produced the goods once again. Take us to this run. Yeah, no, thank you, sir. All the credit must go to Mr. Khan and, of course, to the owners for keeping me on this filly. Uh, I think she's uh, something special, and I think she'll go on from here. But, uh, yeah, just back to the race. Uh, Mr. Khan gave me simple instructions, just bounce out. Uh, I I actually thought she wouldn't be up there. I thought she'd be off them, but she came out so well, and uh, I just sort of let her roll. Mr. Khan said to me, just let her use the action. She's got a nice, beautiful action. And I could feel at the last two, 300 metres, she started to need the run, but uh, I think her class got her through, and she's one of courageous cuts of the race today. So there's a name for the notebook? Yes, I, I think so, definitely, sir. And I must just give a very big thank you again to all the owners concerned for keeping me on this filly, and of course to Mr. Khan. Thank you so much. I think, as I always say to you, you've got a lot of supporters, a lot more than you know. Yes, no, no, sir. So I'm truly blessed at the moment, riding winners and everything, and hopefully it continues just try my best. And, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thank Jared. You. Thank you so much. And last... Oh, yes, sir. Please do come through. Sir, please, please, please do come through. You're the people that we really need yes. to talk to, and, of course, the trainers and the jockeys. But uh, without you, these guys, me, everybody's out of work. No, we, all need, we need all of them. And uh, I just want to say thank you to, to Mark and to all the partners for making this possible for us. And it was a great race. Thank you. And indeed, a public holiday. What better way to celebrate than a winner? Unbelievable. I wish you have a lot of fun with this horse. Thank you very much. Well, Thank definitely. You so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much, sir. Thank you. All right. That, of course, Joe, need we forget the most important part? <laughs> this is a bonus from the ROA, and uh, may you enjoy it, sir. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Last but not least, the man who takes all the strain 
And, uh, of course, he carries it like a true champ, as he did when he was in the saddle, and that is uh, Mark Khan, the trainer. Thank you very much, Cecil. And, of course, that this one had you were confident, I'm sure, even before the scratching. Yeah, I chatted to John um, earlier in the week, and I was very confident about this filly. She's a, she just shows a lot of class, you know, and uh, back home, she's a pleasure to work with. Jared comes out and he works very hard. So just, yeah, firstly, well done to all the partners concerned. Um, it's so difficult to, to mention one and forget the other, but they know exactly who they are. And that was Mr. Dormal. He was here to represent everybody today. So just a, a great big thank you once again to John Maroon, who captains the team, yes. and uh, to Jared for all his hard work. Now, talking about Mr. John Maroon, he's got uh, his colours in the next race. What can we expect? Um, that was just in a tough field. Yes. And, you know, if I have to be uh, totally brutal, um, we're just expecting to have a nice gallop and not to hurt him and um, just let him come out of the race and go forward. Spoken like a true horseman. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. And uh, let's hope that this is a regular habit. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marky. Right, let me mention those names. And, uh, of course, I'm doing his job. I'm going to get my chop after. Mr. John Maroon, uh, D. Anthony, V.J. Bacos, A.H. Adormo, we just saw Mr. Dormo, D.A. Simpson, D. Palmer, and, of course, uh, D. Erasmus, all the ownership. And uh, we all wish each and every one of you a lot of fun with uh, number six, uh, Shake It, in this particular case. But Shake It, a uh, three-year-old daughter of Lancaster Bomber, has done the business.